Hello guys, how are you today? This is Hamudi from Bilo Media. As you know, I got uh, recently my DJI Avata and I didn't activate it yet because I bought the Care Refresh uh, package for this. It uh, cost around uh, 105 euros here in Germany and it's uh, for two years so you have uh, three replacements at a low cost about 55 euros i think and if you lose it it's around 200 210 i think but in order to be able to get your drone replacement if you lose it you have to activate it in the app under your account so today I want to walk you through the activation process and uh, see what happens. For this, you have to install the latest uh, Fly app from DJI. I got it uh, ready or if you have it, you have to um, update it because uh, now it has the compatibility for DJI Avatar. And you have here the connection guide. So you have to press it and find your drone. Here it is. I have the goggles version 2, not version 2, sorry, the goggles 2. It's really confusing because they have almost the same name. So let's select this. Now it uh, walks you through the process. One thing before we start, guys, I have all my batteries charged up fully so the goggles uh, battery the drone battery and the motion controller now let's start connecting the goggles first it says so connect the battery let's remove this and connect this to the phone let's power the goggles so it says activate DJI device, agree. Activation successful. There is a new firmware available. So let's go ahead and download it. We have to connect the aircraft too. And we have to connect the motion controller. I don't have the DJI remote controller too yet. So let's power this up too. There is a new firmware update for the Avata 2, but it's new. Why we have a firmware update already? <laughs> I don't know. So let's wait for it to update. Now let's install the new firmware. Activate the aircraft and the RC. In this case, it's the motion controller activating the aircraft got restarted so it's a straightforward process as you can see you have to follow some uh, some instruction the software uh, do everything for you so it's not really hard to do activation successful so this is basically the what i am seeing in my goggles now so let's start configuring the drone I have to adjust the knobs for the screen to get a clear view. Next, adjust the adapter if you need so. Next, now basically it's uh, teaching you how to use this, uh, this touch uh, sensitive uh, command because there's no buttons on these goggles. Okay, it's really simple guys. Okay. Swipe down from top edge to enter shortcut menu, so like this. Okay, press with two fingers to return. Camera settings, swipe up. You have here uh, the camera, the recording or the photo options, the mode. You have here auto or manual. Okay, swipe from left, from left to right. Uh, for the normal menu let's see if it flies guys <laughs> let's see if what we did it's okay it's uh, teaching us how to use the motion controller 
double pressing will start the motors and press and hold to automatically take off and hover goggles calibration required place goggles on a level surface calibrate the goggles <laughs> this is strange guys this process uh, guys is the to calibrate the goggles because there is a function I think when you move your head your uh, drone will move along with the uh, goggles so if you move like this the drone will look this way or like this this way I think but I, I will do a video about this after so double pressing will start the motors right and if I press once the camera will hover at 1.2 meters let's see this was creepy <laughs> I don't know why it's turning so it was turning guys because uh, I uh, hold the motion control a little bit like this I think so it was because uh, if you do it like this if you turn your wrist like this the drone will move on to the left side so <laughs> this is why it was moving like this so yeah basically guys this is it it's working and uh, this is how you activate the drone next video it will be um, in the field um, trying this drone i want to try this drone here in the studio i will see if i can do it with this uh, motion controller or not so yeah see you next time guys thank you very much for watching thanks bye